got the 411 on Chanel's latest limited edition lipstick collection. Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet Nuit Blanche collection. I have the lipsticks. I am going to show you the application in indoor lighting and I'm going to show application in natural daylight during the day so you can see what they look like indoors in the in you know lighting and in natural daylight I've got all the information is this collection special is it worth your money what are they made of what's the purpose all that good information so let's jump right into this review Hey beauties, welcome back to another fabulous luxury makeup review. In this video, like I said, I have got Chanel's latest lipstick collection. This has got a very, I wouldn't say weird, kind of strange concept. So here they are. They are in this limited edition gorgeous, gorgeous black and white component I'll show you here in a minute. Face of this collection is Margot Robbie who has now become Chanel's face of beauty. Really the concept is Margot Robbie is in a play or some sort of performance movie whatever. She changes lipstick shades from midnight to the dawn hours like different shades for different hour which I still don't quite understand. Out of the eight shades in this collection I have five of them. I would say the most popular ones is including the most popular ones which is number seven is one of them. So I'm going to show you like I said the daylight application during natural daylight and then also indoors in studio lighting in lighting how it looks like these lipsticks. Here are some pictures you know I wanted to show you some of the Chanel's pictures and, and descriptions. Here's, here it is on the Chanel website. This is supposed to be a comfortable formula that delivers intense color and wears like a second skin. These lipsticks have highly concentrated pigments uh, to create an even long lasting result. It has soft focus microspheres combined with ultra fine pearlescent particles for a luminous matte finish. So it's kind of like a luminous, hydrating, velvety matte finish. Um, it is a blend of shea butter and jojoba oil. So those two delivers kind of an intensity to the, the lipstick colors at the same time leaving your lips moisturized. Yeah, I will say that I agree with all of that. This is a limited edition collection and it's supposed to be feather light on the lips and yes I would agree 100% feels like I'm not even wearing a lips lipstick and it feels super comfortable and hydrating so I can attest to all those claims that I would say I agree with all of them at first I was not quite sure if I even needed this collection you guys because I just bought the Chanel's very expensive $200 per piece 31 La Rouge collection from the Wukambon lipstick, you know, concept, you know, Chanel's Wukambon um, home inspired by that. So I have like almost all of those lipsticks, which are super expensive, as you know, and it has had, had like gardenia oil and that sort of thing. Now, this one feels actually similar to that finish of that lipstick except this one has more of a soft focus finish to it I would say so it's different from that formula as well so I will say yeah these do feel the finish feels very unique and this is going to be limited edition when they're gone they're gonna be gone I think so yeah highly um, yes so let me jump right into the application and show you guys one by one how they look like in indoors in lighting and of course in natural daylight so I didn't get midnight or 0000 color that one is a burnt sienna or sienna red um, really not something I'm interested like I said I have 
five of the eight shades. So yeah, I have number one though. So here's the component, the nice black and white box. And then of course the limited edition gorgeous black and white component with the double C there. And when you click on it, it pops out. This is a you know limited edition black and white click case. So here is that orangey sort of red. This is actually kind of like the type of red Marilyn Monroe used to wear, right? So, which is why I got it. So it's like a, a beautiful orange red. Um, so let me go ahead and apply it here in the studio light. My lips are a little bit stained still because obviously I applied all five of these shades in the natural daylight for you to see the daylight application. Uh, I just now did that. I will be showing that right here, right after my studio light application. So that's why my lips are a little, little stained. So they do leave your lips slightly stained. So let me do this. I already have lip liner on. These go on like butter, you guys. I mean, it just feels like butter. It just feels really comfortable on the lips and it just feels like, like very comfortable. It can not even feel a little bit that you have lipstick on your lips at all. Like I said, this is a lightweight formula that they formulated to be like a second skin and I would 100% agree with that. It is very lightweight. You can barely say, I mean, this is supposed to be, I don't think this is supposed to be a matte formula per se. This is definitely a velvet feeling formula. So there's a little bit of moisture to it. So it's kind of like a cross between a matte and a satin or cream. So it's like kind of velvet in the way it feels, but has like sort of that matte-ish velvety finish. It really does make my lips look supple the way it's described. So this is the one o'clock in the morning shade. I'm not really sure how this is one o'clock in the morning type of shade. Um, if you were to party all night, would you change your lipstick color by the every hour? I'm not really sure the concept behind this whole, you know, wee hours, like morning, dawn hours. But, okay, I mean, it's novel. I love this red. It's a very beautiful, vibrant, orangey red. Here's the daylight application. As you guys can see, it's really beautiful. Um, beautiful, beautiful finish. This has that shea butter and jojoba oil, which leaves, like, lips feeling really moisturized and supple, so it really shows. Okay, let's now move on to shade number three, which is the next shade that I have. Um, this one is three o'clock in the morning or 0300. This is the 03 shade. This one seems to be kind of like a strawberry pink, uh, very like a vibrant fuchsia type pink. It doesn't look that pink in the bullet, but when you actually apply, it come across a lot more fuchsia pink than it is in when you look at the bullet. So let me put it on. This feels so feather light, very, very air, airy light, almost like a, like a filter. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this color. It's kind of like a strawberry pink or fuchsia pink, I guess. There's a slight red undertone to this almost 
kind of shows in the bullet too. So there's a slight reddish sort of strawberry feel to this. It's beautiful. I love this color. This is a, this was a really good choice. A very rare color. It's you know I have a ton of fuchsia-ish hot pink shades in my collection from various brands, high-end, luxury. But this one I would say is a very unique color. So there's something about this formula, you guys, it almost is kind of like transparent, like translucent, you know, like it actually has almost like a, almost kind of shows my lips through, but it's like a really good thing because it actually shows my natural lips like in a very unique way. I don't know how to put it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Here is the daylight application of it. You can see just how vibrant this shade is in the natural daylight um, and you know this is without any light studio lights at all this is just sunlight daytime um, absolutely gorgeous love this shade And then I have number four right here. Let me show you this shade. This one is a beautiful warm brown hue. It's actually a really pretty color that I don't have um, this in my collection. I actually, the only one that's close to this I have in my collection, it's also from Chanel from their $200 lipsticks, the beautiful glass cases. There's one that is similar to this shade, but not the same. So yeah, it's a beautiful sort of warm brown. Do you see that? Do you see how like this has a little bit of shine? It's because of the jojoba oil and the shea butter, you guys. It really feels really creamy and beautiful on the lips, like very, very moisturizing. Now look at that, that is gorgeous, I mean, it's almost like a cross between ox blood and brown, mm. beautiful color, I love it, you will see, um, see how plump my lips look, even though it's kind of like a, you know, matte velvet finish, my lips look full, beautiful. And that shea butter and hoho -ho butter or hoho -ho butter oil, um, you can tell what kind of difference it's making. I really love these lipsticks, you guys. Really, really is a great formula. Here is the daylight application of this shade. It's absolutely stunning. In daylight, you can see the gorgeous sort of warm brown hue um, in the sunlight. It's kind of like halfway between night and day, they say this shade is supposed to be um, you know four in the morning I don't see it I don't see it as a halfway between night and day shade okay then I have the shade number five let me show you it's another dark shade this one is kind of like a plummy fuchsia um, kind of shade so let me swatch it right there that's the shade this is actually right here it's like a darker version of this like the earlier color that was kind of like a strawberry reddish pink that I applied earlier what shade was this number three and here is number five which is kind of like a darker plummy sort of purpley uh, pretty shade this I also really like look at that mmm 
what a pretty shade you guys I mean look at that absolutely stunning I love this shade it's like again very unique I have shades like this in my collection but not quite this you guys see this is why Chanel is Chanel this has like almost like that transparent translucent quality at the same time it's like a purpley plum but has a bit of like a I don't know vibrantness about it like a slight red almost mm. beautiful shade I love it here is the daylight application of this shade again you can see in the daylight just how pretty this shade looks so so stunning Okay, so now we have come to the most popular shade of this collection because this is the shade that Margot Robbie wore in the movie Barbie, apparently. She also wore some vintage Chanel dresses and stuff in that movie. So this is number seven. This is that beautiful vibrant pink. This is the break of dawn color as they describe. This is the finale of their you know, their, their theatrical performance that Margot Robbie is allegedly wearing these shades at different hours of the night. So this is the, the dawn color or the break of dawn color, although 7 in the morning isn't quite break of dawn. You know, Chanel's rationale, I don't, I don't quite get it. Uh, this is a very vibrant, fresh pink. Let me get it out. Here is that beautiful, pretty, pretty pink. And this is what Margot was wearing in Barbie, apparently. So there it is right there. Beautiful, pretty pink. It's very fresh pink. Ah, feels like butter when it goes on. you see so pretty so this is the color I'm wearing in this video obviously perfectly goes with my outfit and my eye look by the way my entire face is like I said Chanel makeup this is the Chanel Le Beige eye uh, shadow palette that I'm wearing mmm this is really really fresh pretty pink youthful beautiful and here is the daylight application of this color. It, as you can see, it's, like, it's a really nice color for like morning time to wear daytime, you guys. Really fresh and beautiful and it's like a perfect spring shade don't you think it's a perfect shade for the spring I personally love this one and obviously this one is popular for a reason so you guys that is it that is the daylight and studio application of five out of the eight shades from the Chanel's new limited edition Rouge Allure Velvet Nuit Blanche collection so yeah, I really love this one so much. Perfect fresh pink for the spring. Well, and summer too. Really pretty, you guys. Really love this. Really fresh faced look that I'm really enjoying. What are my final thoughts? I love them. I love them. I feel like they do so much that other lipsticks don't always do. Um, I mean, Believe me, I have some amazing luxury, you know, lipsticks and lip products, a lot of them. And I'm a collector. I have all the luxury makeup you can possibly imagine. 
you know, not just Chanel, Guerlain, you know, Christian Louboutin, I have, name it, I have it, like $80, $90 lipsticks, $200 lipsticks, I have them. This one is special. This definitely is, what's special about this collection is that it's the lightweight formula, which you get a lot too, but this is particularly lightweight. It, this is like thin, you guys, very, like they somehow kept the, a nice, beautiful amount of pigment while keeping this so light. And you can actually do a one swipe application, but I do like to do a little bit more. You can actually even get like almost like a light translucent uh, sort of look if you're into that with one swipe, if you do a light hand one swipe, but if you do a heavy hand one sw swipe, you can actually get a pigmented coverage, but I go several times and I feel like it has a bit of a, almost like a translucent quality, but it's not translucent because actually it's pigmented, but not overly so. And also it's very moisturizing with the jojoba oil and the shea butter, you guys, and it just feels so comfortable. Honestly, I don't feel like I'm wearing any lipstick on my lips. Like if I don't see myself in the mirror or touch my lips, I wouldn't even remember. You know, the rest of my face, I can feel I'm wearing makeup, but actually Chanel makeup sits very light. Um, I should say, like even my foundation, I just don't feel it particularly. I'm wearing all Chanel, by the way. This entire look is all Chanel products. Everything from my eyes to my, um, my lips, everything um, is Chanel. So yeah, it is absolutely beautiful. I would 100% recommend this collection. Now I'm tempted, honestly, to go back and buy the other three colors that I didn't buy as well because I have FOMO, fear of missing out, now that I've tested them and I really, really love them. So I might just actually buy the other three shades. I should just do it, you guys. Like I constantly regret not getting Chanel stuff when I don't get the rest of the collection. I was like, oh, this time I have so many lip products, I'm not gonna get all of the shades this time, you know, I thought. But I, I gotta say, these are very, very good. I don't regret buying these at all. Beautiful, beautiful lipsticks. I absolutely love them. So yeah, um, I'm glad Chanel did such a nice, limited edition collection. Let me know down in the comment section your thoughts about this this collection. Do you have any from this collection? Do you have, what shades do you have if you do? And do you plan to get it? They are now available, you know, not just Chanel Online, but Chanel Boutiques, but also Nordstrom, Macy's. I will link all that down in the description box for your convenience. So I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Head on over to my other more established big channel, Salon Cleo, which is all about gorgeous fragrances. I hope you go over there, subscribe and show some support. I will see you guys in my next video.